It's extremely important that we have Indigenous knowledge and ways of being, knowing and doing incorporated into our education system. The Indigenous peoples within British Columbia are very unique and very diverse. And especially when it comes to their belief systems around Indigenous people with disabilities, there's many similarities but there is very clear and distinct differences as well. Well, there wasn't really a lot of attention given to like the disability. It was a community effort to help everybody. I don't even think there's a word for it in our, in our Nishka language. Everybody is uh, a welcome in our um, village. There are different examples of things that have always been here, like not sticking to the norms involving gender or sexuality. I feel like there has always been something for people like myself with a mental disability. From my territory in the Inthlacapan Nation, my aunties and my uncles instilled in me the belief that when somebody had a difference, they also had a strength. We come from a, a place of trauma. We have intergenerational trauma, so we don't trust easily. I'm sitting here today proudly wearing a, a piece of my regalia because over 50 years ago, they took our regalia away. And bringing back cultural dancing and um, being able to know where you come from and your crest is really important. Culture wasn't always, I guess, the priority for the district, but teachers and the workers that were with me found some ways to incorporate some teachings into how I was being taught. Within my family, we are hand drummers, and the inclusion of song and dance is extremely important for our healing and for our well-being, overall well-being, not only for people living with disabilities, but just as individuals. I guess when it comes to when I dance during powwows, you know, it uh, regulates like pressure in my body and helps ground me. It just feels really nice and relaxing and afterwards I can just feel like myself. I've been asked a lot of the time why I stayed in such a rural area as opposed to staying in the city. I loved the fact that culture was in everything, that we need physical people in our communities. Whoever is working with said student or person needs to have an understanding of both the disability itself and then the cultural needs. What I recommend for every school district is to connect with their Indigenous community that's in their backyard. Meet with the elders, create a council, whatever it might be, but have some open discussion and dialogue. What are the key beliefs that they want to incorporate into their school system that are going to support the Indigenous children in that territory? Giving that person, you know, like physical support, emotional support, spiritual support. We need to know where we have come from to know where we're going. It, it is important because I'm an Indigenous person and wants to know my culture.